Welcome from the home of the New York Mets, City Field in Queens. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the New York Mets. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And on the mound today, Max Scherzer. What should we keep an eye on here? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Mookie Betts stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. And it's one and one. One and one. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Hauls it in for the out. Time to check out the Dodgers lineup. Now with their ace on the mound today, they're just looking to provide him a little bit of run support, and they'll see what they can do for him. Book, you have to be really careful when you've got a guy like this on the mound for you to not become a spectator. You know that he doesn't give up a whole lot, but sometimes guys get a little too comfortable and don't have an urgency to score runs. You have to make sure you put oh, him in a situation right. where he can get the W, but also you guys can cruise to the finish line and not have to worry about a comeback in the end. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. Ah. That's a strike. And yeah, the count, one and two. Max Scherzer, a former first-round pick. Diamondbacks took him in 2006, the 11th overall selection out of the University of Missouri. What a career. He's won three Cy Youngs, including Cy Youngs in each league, and a world champion, 2019, with the Washington Nationals. And that one is lifted in the air. Marte racing over to make the catch. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Well, just, I mean, a tremendous pitcher. Started with the Arizona Diamondbacks, then we saw him move to Detroit. Wasn't quite sure if the command and control was going to be established, even the release uh, that he throws in mechanically, people wondered if he'd get injured, no but he has had a lengthy career for the most part has stayed healthy, and he's going to the Hall of Fame. No question. That one, one missed. Two strikes. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Next offering is foul back. So here's Scherzer. 3-2 now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Dodgers down in order. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back here at the ballpark, and today's starting pitcher, Clayton Kershaw. What do we need to know here? 
Yeah, and when he's on, he's a real treat to watch. I become a fan myself. You know, he often takes the pressure off of his hitters to score a lot of runs, but they have to be careful to not just go into a slumber. They've got to put up some runs, make it a little bit easier for this guy so he doesn't have to battle every Way time that he's out there. No one should be surprised, though, if he settles in and takes control of the game and throws a shutout. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's Brandon Nimmo. And that one is inside. Kershaw, a former All-Star. He features a slider, a four-seamer, a curve, and he works in a changeup. Kershaw fires. That misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. That one missing inside. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And a four-pitch walk. Perfect. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Here's Starling Marte. Good Whoa. eye right there. Nimmo gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next offering in the dirt, and it's 2-0. and oh. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Next pitch misses way outside. Next offering is fouled back. Here it comes. Fought off foul. Three, two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Rudder at first with no outs here. Now he breaks his bat. Sends it to first. Awesome play there. That is good. Let's take a peek at the Mets lineup here. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. If they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. And now it's Frankie Lindor in there for strike one. Singy, where are you on F1 racing? Are you a fan? Haven't gotten there yet, but I will at some point. Francisco Lindor, a big fan of F1 racing. His favorite driver is Lewis Hamilton. Next offering is fouled back. Hey now, let's go. And the 2 That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. At the belt and fires. Ball. One out and a runner at second. Swing and a miss struck him out. Batting four. Here's no Pete Alonso. Oh, 
swing and a foul straight back. 2013 in the playoffs, you caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. You won. Late that time, and it's strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. 0-2 oh, now. That's a little bit low. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. 1-2, bottom of the first. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Nimmo headed for the plate. He will score. And it's 1-0. He was all over that one. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Edge of the zone for a strike. Going one. Here comes a pitch. I got a ball, one strike. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Kicks and fires. Check swing, tried to hold up. Now an appeal to third. And he went, says Dave Lawrence. Here's a one two in the air right side bet settles underneath it makes the grab and that will end the inning so one run in the inning on this base hit it's now a one nothing ball game. Welcome back. New inning getting started. Here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. Max Muncy. In May of 2021, Max Scherzer threw a complete game as his wife went into labor with their third child. Game finished two hours, 37 minutes. Scherzer left Nationals Park, made it to the hospital just in time for the birth of his daughter. She was born four and a half hours after he threw the first pitch of the game. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. Aside to home plate duty is Ricky Holiday. Boog, and something I've heard players saying about Ricky's strike zone is how he will call the high strike. That could be something that's tough to deal with, especially if you've got a guy out there coming at you with high velocity. Next pitch has popped up. Scherzer makes the catch, and there's one gone. The designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Here is J.D. Martinez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Scherzer, multi-time all-star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, a slurve, and occasionally uses a cutter. Scherzer deals. 
Next offering misses down and away. Chris, that 2018 Red Sox team that won it all, J.D. Martinez was a vital cog in that offensive machine. Of course, Mookie Betts on that team as well, but Martinez led the majors with 130 runs batted in. He was outstanding. Next pitch is downstairs. Yeah, and he was the guy that other players fed off of. I mean, his level of intensity and focus and preparation, paying attention to video, batting practice video, going back in afterwards, his teammates fed off of it, and I think that's what elevated the offense. Toss to Alonzo, and Martinez is out. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. David Peralta at the plate. Next pitch has popped up. McNeil drifts towards it. Makes the catch inning over. Dodgers go down quietly. They're down 1 0. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Mark Canna. Kershaw back to work. Whoa, that pitch is out. And there's a foul ball. And a pitch. This one smoked out to left. Peralta calls it in, and there's one away. Batting seven. The designated hitter. Here's Tommy Pham. That's in there, and that is strike one. The wind and the pitch. Nope, ball one. And now two and one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That one misses in the dirt. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Bounce to the right. Freeman takes it to the bag. Two up, two down. Bat again. The third base Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to hit. The switch hitter batting right. Ball one, no strikes. Count one and oh. That's a laser base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any that better than that. Run. Really the good swing hit. right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. So, man aboard. Tomas Nito with the plate. 
Lost a couple friends, yeah, I lost a couple friends, but the true day ones were with me in the switch. The team better be one day every year. Minus my depression and anxiety fears. Can't lie, love payback. Oh, hey, whip, but I pull up in the main back. Yeah, I'm okay. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And now the lefty, they say it went. Yeah, one ball, one strike. The 1-1. One, one. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Bows it off, still one and two. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. He goes down looking. The Mets leave one, but they're on top, one nothing. And welcome back. We top half of the third down. inning. Here's the, the second, second baseman, baseman, Miguel Vargas. Miguel Vargas. Vargas. Vargas, in his rookie season, 23 years old. And he was born in Cuba. That one catches the zone. Strike one. Outside of the United States, Cuba has more players and representatives in Cooperstown than any other country. Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are close behind. The next pitch misses, and that is ball one. And a 1-1. There's a strike. Pitch misses. The count now two and two. And that's downstairs and outside. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Three, two. Fly ball down the line. Marte really on his horse score. And that drops foul. And a pitch. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. That's in there. Strike one. One down, base is empty. And that one fouled off. And down on strikes he goes. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Miguel Rojas at the plate. Ah. 
And that's in there for strike one. Rojas hitting ninth in today's lineup. And they traded for him earlier this year. And the 0-1. There's a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Tosses to first, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. They still trail 1-0. Ready to go for the last Lead half of the up. inning. Warm Here's the Mets leadoff man, the Brandon, Brandon Nimmo. Brandon. Nimmo goes six feet, three inches, 205 pounds, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in the state of Wyoming. That one's in there. That's strike one. Well, these Mets showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one, one run, one but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Outman sizing this one up. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. One down. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Starling Marte up to him. All one. The pitch. There's a strike. Smoked on the ground a second. Throw on to Freeman. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Not shortstop. Francisco. Lindor. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Francisco Lindor, a guy who's won multiple gold gloves and a platinum glove, multiple all-star appearances. Mr. Smile, what do you think of when you contemplate the player Francisco Lindor? Just a special talent, both sides of the ball, both sides of the plate, equally a force. And one thing about Francisco Lindor, you talk about that smile, he's also got some good sense. If I'm a catcher, love it when he comes to the plate because he's got all kinds of different colognes that he wears and sometimes mixes them. The 0-2. Swing and a pop-up. Freeman in position. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Mets go down quickly, but they lead it one to nothing. Out of the fourth, and now the right fielder, Mookie Betts. Scherzer back to work. And that's in for a strike. You know, these Dodgers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Here's the 0-2. That smash towards center. Makes a nice running catch. And a quick out number one. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Freeman batting with one down takes a strike the Dodgers still looking for their first hit in this one and a swing and a miss
The wind of the pitch. Check swing. Now an appeal to third. And he held back, according to Dave Lawrence. Next offering way off the plate. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. The wind of the pitch. Line drive. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. The batter now will be Will Smith. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Freeman leads off first with one away. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Aye. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. This one in the dirt. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. Two two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Kicks and deals. Roll to short, could be two. There's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. They made it look easy, but it started with a nice feed to the second baseman from the shortstop. Perfect turn, and they're out of this jam. Back here in Queens, bottom four, and stepping in for New York, Pete Alonso. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. But why to kick the pitch? And that's in for a strike. A couple of quick nuggets on Pete Alonzo. He graduated from the same high school as Wade Boggs, Plant High School in the Tampa area. And Alonzo also played at the University of Florida. He was teammates there with Harrison Bader. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. And the next pitch is way outside. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, nope. then stay with it. Next offering misses, and that's ball three. And now the count filled up three and two. Three, two. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a man on base to start the inning. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Jeff McNeil stands in. He's over one. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. And a pitch. 
Nope, that's down. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Here's a 1-1. One, one. There's a strike. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one away. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive, and all of a sudden, for the hitter, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Here's Mark Canna, 0 for 1 so far. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Let's keep it going. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Got a ball, one strike. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. You can do it, yeah, the one two misses to even the count. And it's filled up. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Three, two on the way. Swing and a pop up in foul ground near the fence. Smith takes it in for the out. And there's two down. No, oh, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. And now the Mets DH, Tommy Pham, grounded out his first time. Next pitch has popped up. Rojas under it. He makes the grab, and the inning is over. Mets strand one, but they still lead it one nothing. Back here at City Field, here comes Max Muncy. The third base is number thirteen. The right-hander back to work. And ball one. Pitch misses. Two balls and a strike. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Fouls one away and now three and two. Left hand batter waits. In the dirt. In plenty of time to first 
They get the out on Muncie. Oh, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. J.D. Martinez stands in. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. J.D. Martinez is the first guy that I remember seeing videotaping his own batting practice so that he could go back inside and look at the video. The pitch. And that is cut on and missed. And it's 0-2. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. High in the air, out to right. And Martinez is out. Two away down. Now battle. The left field. And here is David Peralta. Peralta. First time up was a pop out. And that misses off the outside edge. That's in for a strike. to third and foul ball now well, this offense has just been locked down almost five full innings of shutout baseball Scherzer ahead one and two swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout Dodgers down in order they trail here one nothing Back here at the ballpark, here's the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Third baseman. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And a foul ball. Down on strikes, and there's one away. Well, I think that's a case of overthinking right there. He got three straight fastballs looking in the 0-2 count, just a four at bat. Now the catcher up to hit, Tomas Nito. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Snags it for the second out. Back to the top of the Mets order. And next for the Mets, Brandon Nimmo. First offering misses the mark. Ball one, no strike. And the slider catches the zone. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult, especially for a left-handed hitter to track. Next offering is in for a strike. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. And here it comes. This ball's chopped on the ground, and that's just foul. One, two now. Slider misses outside. <laughs> oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste. Cuts on it and misses. That's a strikeout. 
pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Welcome back. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the second baseman, Miguel Vargas. Scherzer back to work. And there's the strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Check swing, appeal to first. No, he held up. And that's a strikeout looking. Fastball at the letters, frozen for strike three. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. And yeah, the batter now, James Outman. Breaks his bat and pops it up. Escobar fires to first on the run. Save! Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. So digging in, Miguel Rojas. Grounded out back to the pitcher his first time. Little chopper rolls foul. And a strike in there with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Next offering is fouled back. And the righty deals. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. is fouled off. Scherzer to first. Oh, he's and he's back safely. One run game. One out. One on. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And he punches him out. He went around. Back to the top of the lineup. Here's Mookie to hit. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Well done behind the dish. Two outs. Both bets off the plate. Both And that one fouled off. Outman, the runner at first with two gone. Scherzer to first. Outman gets back easily. Back over to first. And yeah, they're keeping him close. Two and one now. Scherzer deals. And a foul ball.
That misses. Three and two now. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, that's a pretty significant two out walk as it moves the tying run up into scoring position. It's definitely not what you're looking for from your pitchers late in the ballgame. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. One for two. First pitch, and he just misses. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. That one's in there, and it's a ball and a strike. You know, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting a ground ball and getting out of this little jam. And that one moves his feet. And there's the strike. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Payoff pitch. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Racing makes the catch. And that'll do it. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. 2-3-4 two, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mets one and the Dodgers nothing. Back here in Queens, where we go bottom six. Now the number two hitter, Starling Marte. And the pitch. Right through there for a strike. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. And yeah, now the 0-1. Just oh, sorry, missed. Double-barreled action in the bullpen. Andre Jackson getting ready to go. Miller getting cranked up as well. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a ball popped up. Puts the squeeze on it. One up, one down. Now battle. That's your stop. Here's Francisco Lindor. Lindor. Checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. And he went around according to Daryl Parker. And he'll one. Slice down the right side. Going to now. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. Alonso, in his fifth season, 28 years old, and he's a former home run derby champ. In there, and it's 0-1. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone.
pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Next pitch in the dirt. And it's one and two. And that's too high. Two ball, two strike. Here comes a pitch. And that one off the outside edge. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Three. Struck him out looking. Nothing doing for the Mets. But they hold a 1-0 lead. And welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Adam Adovino, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Braley getting loose as well. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough to sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. The tying run at the plate. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Makes the catch up against the wall. Well, those can be pretty fun as an outfielder. Got to put it into his highest gear and go a long way to track that one down. Nothing better than that. You feel like a wide receiver playing football. Delivers outside. That one is hammered right field. Way back there. And it's gone. Home run. Max Muncy leaves the yard, and we're level. It's 1-1. One, one. In a 2-0 count, a hitter is on high alert. This is what you live for, to be in the driver's seat here. He got a pitch that he could handle, and he hit that pitch really hard. Nice home run. And here is J.D. Martinez. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Check swing, no appeal, and the count is one and one. Whoa, recognize that pitch just in time, able to keep those hands back. On the ground. Gets it to first. And Martinez is out. Now just about to hit that century now mark. 100 pitches for this game. 
Peralta. Just one out away from seven strong innings and just at 100 pitches. Man, pretty impressive. They've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today. Peralta in the box now. No balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Going to count one, one and two. Two strikes. The one one is fouled off. Swings and misses. And that is that. Solo shot for the Dodgers this inning. All even at one apiece. <laughs> So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Andre Jackson. Number 94, Andre Jackson. Here's the second baseman, Chuck McNeil. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Outman settles under this one. And out number one on the grab. Now got left field. So up next, Mark Canna. When you win the presence of my crown, the beat drop, I won't let it hit the ground. Now you can fix your friend. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Popped in the air, left field. Peralta makes the grab. And there are two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming up and instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And first offering is fouled off. And the right hater deals. Next offering is outside. And that Great one ball. almost got him. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. And that one wrapped foul. Here comes the 01. Ball one there. His understanding of the strike zone, very impressive. That was a very close 0 2 fastball. I just don't know how you take that. Righty delivers. Fights that one away, still one and two. At the belt and fires. 
<laughs> well, with yep. the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself Thank in the you. scoring position. Tomas Nito waiting to hit for the Mets. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Right-hander kicks, deals. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Kicks and deals. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Nothing across. No base hits. No errors. And one left. Eighth inning coming up. All tied 1-1. The Mets with a new arm on the mound, Drew Smith. Miguel Vargas digs in now. There's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. The pitch. There's a strike. There's the swing and a miss. Great velocity at 97 at the top of the zone. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. He held up. Daryl Parker with the call there. Here's a one-two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. And at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Here comes the 0 1. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. Next to hit, Miguel Rojas. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Swinging a foul straight back. Next offering is fouled back. Right-handed reliever. Foul ball still 
And downstairs. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Bottom of the eighth, and now the catcher comes up to him. Tomas Nido. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Brandon Nimmo now at the plate. Nimmo. In the dirt. But no advance. That's ball one. And the 1 0. Foul ball. One one. Line drive, base hit around second on his way to third, and that's a double. Nito rounds third, headed for the plate. The relay throw, and he's out. And this game remains tied. A lot of real estate to cover on that play defensively. A long throw to the cutoff man, and then a lot of ground to make up as well on the relay. But an excellent job of execution and getting that out at the dish as he tried to make it home all the way from first base. Starling Marte up now for the Mets. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Man at second. Center field. Outman settles under it. Makes the grab. Two down. Now that Francisco. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, go ahead run and score in position. And now two and nothing. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Pitch misses there. Three balls, no strikes. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Pete Alonso in the on-deck circle, hoping to get a chance to make a big impact here. Here's a 3 0. And there's the automatic. Dangerous spot for that slider right there. Didn't seem to quite finish out front and get that sharp break. Tell you what, he doesn't want to throw that pitch again. Next offering finds the zone, and the count is full.
and a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Nimmo at second with two down. Got him swinging. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's Mookie now. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And there's a ball. One is fouled off. The one two. And a swing and a miss. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Marte puts the squeeze on that one. And that quickly, two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And up to the plate is Will Smith. And first offering is fouled off. Smith, 29 years old, and he was a third-round pick back in 2015. A one now. Ball one. One oh. Shot back to the mound, and he gloves it. Tosses to first, out number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six, coming up. All tied, 1-1. One, one. Back here at City Field, we head to the bottom of the ninth. And here's the first baseman, Pete Alonso. Well, one swing's a lot easier than getting two or three hits to win this ball game. You better believe he's going to be all in to hit the ball over the fence somewhere. And the first oh, pitch misses that? for ball one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Yancy Almonte looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. But why to kick the pitch? Now this is in the air down the line. Peralta moving under this one squeezes it and there's one down as good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand you cannot hang a breaking ball right there lucky it stayed in the ballpark digging in Jeff McNeil known for his late inning heroics pitch misses inside and that's ball one A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. He can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitter's got to look down in the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. And 
And another ball. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. The 2 2 now. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Mark Ken, the next to hit. Going to one. All ones again. And strike two. One low. Excellent arm action on that two strike changeup. Just missed. Man, he wanted that call. Two down, nobody on. Stays alive. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Next one misses. Two and two. Two balls. That one missed. Tommy Fan to bat next. And that's ball four. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just miss the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Making a move at first. Entering is the pinch runner, Tim Locastro. Locastro. Trying to send this extra innings. It's a pitch out, nothing doing, and that's ball one. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. And now one and two. Jackson with a move to first. And Locastro dives back in. In the dirt, blocked. Save. Huge wild pitch there. Winning run is in scoring position. A base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Really not in time, and they walk it off. You know, he had to feel the pressure. A winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact, and the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today.
some other day. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.